Near to the baths is a triumphal arch, dedicated to an emperor who came to power in 193 AD. His name was Septimus Severus. His period of office was a significant event in Roman history, though perhaps not for his achievements when in power. The importance of Septimius Severus lay in his background. Born in Lepkis Magna in present-day Libya, he was the first African to attain the highest position in the Roman Empire. The achievement of Septimius Severus should not be regarded as unusual. A feature of the Roman occupation was that it provided opportunities for native Africans to become as successful and wealthy as the Roman colonists. It caused the emperor embarrassment and had to be sent home to Africa. Despite this, Severus's political achievements were supreme, as were his tremendous building projects. Severus died in AD 211. After visiting the Roman province of Britannia and reinforcing its northern frontier, Hadrian's Wall, he died on the return journey in the city of York. His death, however, marked the start of a dynasty of African emperors. He was succeeded by his sons, Caracalla and Gita. Caracalla then murdered Gita and had all his inscriptions bearing his name across the empire erased. These emperors were succeeded by Macrinus and Elagabulus. The dynasty eventually came to an end in 235 AD with the death of Alexander Severus. Gordian by name. And some scholars have tried to say, oh, maybe Gordian built it. Uh, Combat between gladiators was an integral part of the show. Death would